name's Buck Miller, and I got something I want to say to you. Come in, Mr. Miller. Hi, Buck. I'm Alex. Let's you and me make a deal. Well, cock a doodle do. It was so sweet of you to come all the way up here from Texas. I thought this here was a business trip. I do love a man who knows his priorities. All right, Buck. It's like this. Asa and I were partners in a nightclub. My nightclub. Let me guess. He stole your share from you. He burned you too, didn't he? Well, I have just the way for you to get one up on Asa while I get what's rightfully mine. Something for everybody. How does that sound to you? Thank you, Detective. I wish I had better news for you, Hank. Yeah, well, listen, let's forget about Todd for now, okay? What about Nora? Have you heard from her? Yeah, I got a message. She'll be back tonight. Oh, really? Mm. Well, I got to tell you, I've got this nervous feeling in the pit of my stomach. I mean, why this mystery trip all of a sudden, huh? You know, I think she's on to something. Because Judge Hawthorne, he, he wouldn't have agreed to a day's recess if she didn't have a solid lead. So, Bo, I'm counting on you to find out what it is. Me? Well, yeah. Come on, you're sharing this house with her. You're engaged to be married to the woman, bro. Come on, look, and I give you my blessings. But you gotta remember, you're on the other side of this case, this murder case. I want you to find out where she went and what she's looking for. When were you planning on taking this trip to California? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? I know it's short notice. It's no notice. Well, I guess you're going to be away from the trial and you won't see Sloan. I guess I'm making you have a choice. Come with me or stay with them. I won't make you, Mom. It's up to you. Well, I don't really see that there is a choice to be made. Sure, we'll go. We'll leave tomorrow. Great. Thanks, Mom. Excuse me. I'm sorry for the intrusion, but I couldn't help overhearing. Where are you going, Vicky? <laughs> Who knows, Max? Tonight might even be the lucky night. You may win back all the money that you owe me. Take it. Larry, you're, you're good for my ego, but you're bad for my <laughs> bank account. What? Bank account. <laughs> Take it. Hey, you got a point there. I got nowhere to go but up. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe the old Holden luck is coming back again. Max, it's Luda, honey. Are you in there? Please open the door, sugar. I, I need to talk to you. What are you doing? We got nothing to hide. Uh, uh, Max, th th for my sake and for hers, think how this would look. I don't care. Well, I do. Give me the money. What? I'm going to hide in the... Hi what? I'm going to hide in the closet. Well, how do... Let me go. Oh. Max, why didn't you? No, no. Never mind. I, 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 honey, I, I owe you an apology. I, I made you feel like I doubted you and I didn't trust you. Please let me come on inside. I, I'm on my way downstairs. Honey, I, I need to talk to you. Downstairs, if it's important. Not downstairs. In private, honey. I... Please don't shut me out. Let me come on inside and let's, let's talk. I haven't eaten a thing all day. 
Sugar can it wait. I really need to talk to you. Well, then fine. We'll go downstairs. Honey, what I want to say to you, I need to say to you in private. Look, we tried private before, and look where it got us, huh? Are you coming or not? I have never seen you act so cold. I'm hungry. You're coming or going? I'm coming. Jesse, is, uh, is Dad still here? Did he leave? Yeah. Okay. But why don't you uh, spend the night here then, huh? I mean, your summer clothes are all here anyway, and you have to pack them. And while you're doing that, I will uh, tell Sloane about our plans. You aren't going to change your mind, are you, Mom? No, darling, I'm not going to change my mind. I think you owe someone an apology. I'm sorry about what I did to your proof of career today. It wasn't just me, but I'm responsible. No hard feelings as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, Sloan. See, Jesse, I think it's always better to get things out in the open. Jessica, I think I understand what you've been going through lately. I mean, you think the two of us could... I said I was sorry, Mom. Can I go now? Sure. Go and pack, and I'll uh, be in in a bit. Good night, Jessica. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. For what? For what? Yeah. Specifically for being so patient with her. I know she doesn't make it easy. Oh, I wish, I wish she could see you the way I do. Well, maybe you're a little prejudiced. It takes time to put a new family together. I know one day, I hope soon, Jessica will stop blaming you for breaking up your marriage. I know she will. I wish that day would come along soon. Like tomorrow. <laughs> Speaking of tomorrow, are you really going away? You're going to be missing Dorian's trial. You want me to spy on Nora? You want me to just pump my fiance for a little information, Inc? No way. Hey, come on, man. Why are you taking this thing so personally, huh? Oh, I don't know. Um, I live with the woman. Uh, I love her. She loves me. Uh, we have this little understanding. I don't stab her in the back. She does the same for me. Oh, I'm not asking you to stab her in the back. I'm asking you to only do your job. Even if I did what you're asking me to do, it would never work because Nora would not open up to me. Dorian is her client. She's going to protect her to her last breath. Yeah, right. And while you're letting her protect her client, our case is dangling in the wind. I want to help, Hank. I do. There's got to be another way. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. All right. Listen, Bo, let, let me tell you something, man. You're right. I mean, I have been there. I remember one time back in Chicago, Nora and I we were on opposite sides, as always. And now the trial is going my way. The next thing I know, she vanishes for 24 hours. Now I'm her husband, I don't have a clue where she is. Then the next day, she waltzes into the courtroom with that obnoxious grin on her face. Don't even, don't tell, she won, right? Yeah. She hits me with a surprise witness and boom, blows my case right out of the water. The judge doesn't even wait for the jury. You know, he gave a directed verdict, not guilty. Yeah, yeah, but just because it happened that time, that doesn't mean that... Bo, whoever said lightning never strikes twice. Well, they never met Nora Gannon. Now, tomorrow is our star witness. And whatever else I present, well, what it comes down to is Ethel Crawford's testimony. If Nora has found something, anything, that'll discredit Ethel when I put her up on that stand. I, I hear you, Hank. I hear you. Listen, I want to win this case as much as you do. Then come on, man. Give me the ammunition I need, would you? <sighs> but I will not play mind games with the woman I love. Look, some things are just too important. All right.
sorry, fine. That's very noble of you. But answer me this. If the tables were turned, do you think that Nora would hesitate for a heartbeat to do the same thing to you? She respects our relationship. Yeah, she does. She respects you. The woman worships the ground you walk on. But believe me, when she walks into that courtroom, the only thing that matters to Nora is winning. Now, you're either with me on this case, or Dorian Lord just might get away with murder. Hi, Super Dave here saying watch it. Somebody's feeding you a whole lot of meadow muffins, pretty thing. I got no gripe with Asa Buchanan. Are you telling me you wouldn't want to put one over on him just for old time's sake? Those days are over and done with. We're older and wiser now. We're richer, too. Now, why is it that I don't believe you? You don't, huh? Let's just say I don't think I could stand the aggravation. Well, I think you could. You see, as Ace's representative, I might have a very difficult time turning down a bid from a bold and brilliant CEO like yourself. If you were to attempt a hostile takeover, I might not be able to put up much of a struggle. Well, I do love a good merger and acquisition, especially when it's ripe for the taking. Ripe is the operative word. But like I said, I can't keep wasting my time going mano a mano with Asa. Let bygones be bygones. Been a pleasure meeting you, man. Buck, wait. So be it. But I certainly can't let you come all this way and leave on an empty stomach. Sorry, ma'am. You know, that looks just a little bit too rich, even for me. Some other time. Oh, but I thought you would just love Album Vegas. Spanish meatballs. How did you know that I love Spanish meatballs? I also rolled them myself and added an extra dash of chipotle chilies. <laughs> You know, Miss Alex, hmm. you remind me of a starry night on the banks of the Rio Grande. Mm. Really? Well, what night was that? Never mind. I really got to be going. Oh, but you must at least take some with you. I mean, I'll just have to throw them away. Now, this particular night on the Rio Grande, is that the night that your rivalry started with Asa? As a matter of fact, it was. How, how do you know all these things, hmm? I don't. I'm a good guesser. I do wish you'd stay just a little while and... Have a tequila sunrise. <laughs> just wash that right down and tell me a good story. So how did it all start with you and Asa? Anyway? You all know so much. Why don't you tell me? Well, I guess that it probably had something to do with a woman. No. No, it wasn't just a woman. It was the woman. The love of my life. Her name was... Her name was Rose. Rose Smith? I thought that was Asa's... First. She was mine before she ever met him. So sweet, so innocent, so fine. I took her to a church picnic down by the river. And Rose had, Rose had packed our supper. I was just about to propose to her when, when this long, tall Texan plops his butt down beside us and starts to eat all Rose's food. <laughs> Sounds like Asa. Ate the whole damn basket. All the time talking about leaving Sweetwater and striking it rich. And he stole her right out from under me. Must have made you furious. Broke my heart. Just thinking about him. 
Mercy me, it's been 20 years since I dredged all that up. And it's making me mad all over again. I don't blame you, Buck. I wish you'd reconsider my offer. Revenge is so sweet. No matter how long it takes. Yeah, well, look, Bo, just think about what I said, no, you're okay? wrong about Nora. If she were in my place... She would do she... exactly what I'm asking you to do. Oh, what, use me? Use our relationship to win a, a, a case? There is no way. No way. Oh, come on. Think about the smile on Dorian's face if that jury comes back with a not guilty verdict. Could you live with that? Listen, I better hit the road before Nora shows up. If she catches me here, believe me, she's gonna know that I'm up to something. Took the words right out of my mouth, Hank Gannon. Just exactly what is it that you're up to? Thanks, so. Thank you. I wasn't fair to you, and I, I got all confused and upset, and I doubted you. And Sugar, would you put that down? I really want you to hear me. Doubt it. You doubted me. That's right. I, um, I don't know how it happened, but somewhere between the gambling and the stock market and arguments with Cord, things got all haywire, didn't they? Because of me. No, uh, I didn't say that. I, you made mistakes and I've made mistakes. But, Sugar, I... I, 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 just when you needed me to trust you, I, I kept picking on you and picking on you, and uh, I'm so sorry, and uh, I feel like we, we've gotten further and further away, and uh, I really hate it, and I, I just want to make it up to you. A little late for that, isn't it? No. It's never too late, not for us. When I saw you leave with a bag in your hand, it just... It tore me up inside. I just I can't stand the idea of spending a, a night away from you, and especially if one of, one of us is angry or hurt. And I mean, that's when we need to be together, to heal each other. And that's what our, our marriage is all about, love and understanding. That's what we said in our, our wedding vows. And, and I'm just trying to, uh, I'll do anything to hold up my end of those vows. <laughs> I want you, I want you to come home with me. Not just to our home for me and Al, but to a home that's filled with love and trust and understanding. Will you please come home? Understand. Considering the way she's been behaving, you couldn't say no to the trip. You I say. think if I had said no, it would have been devastating for her because what she did today at school, when she trashed your booth like that, it was a scream. It was a cry for help. I can't ignore it. My darling, I understand. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. Mm. Oh, Sloan, it's so unreal. Sometimes I look at that child and I don't recognize my own daughter. She's like a total stranger. They call it adolescence. No, I think in her case it's much more intense. And it's, it's because she's always been so stable. She's what we used to call a good girl when it was a compliment. You know where I come from, it's still a compliment. Her mom is a pretty good girl. As far as I can see. I think she should follow your example. No, I think, I don't think I'll ever be a role model for her again, certainly not after what has happened this last year. Instead of her making, making her feel more secure, I have made her more anxious and, and more afraid. That's not your fault, Vicky. I'm the one who's responsible oh, no. for her problems. No, it is not your fault. From her point of view, I'm the man who broke up her parents' marriage. Yes, but that's because she's very young and she does not understand how complicated Let's this situation is. Let's not forget my biography of Victor Lord, her grandfather. 
Now, it did lead to the trial of Dorian Lord, but while you were on the road trying to find evidence that would stand up in court, well, I don't blame her for hating me. I took you away from her twice. If I were she, I'd hate me too. Were you responsible for my father's death? No, of course no, not. No, no. Are you to blame because I want to bring his murderer to justice? No! And believe me, as far as my marriage is concerned, Clint and I did that damage by ourselves. You are not to blame. Not at all. Besides, what we have to think about now is how to make things better for us and for Jesse. Mm -hmm. And we will. Oh, believe me, I know we will. Welcome home, Nora. Oh, thank you. Bo and I were just discussing some old cases mm. I've had on backlog. Yeah, but we're done now, aren't we? Huh? Yeah. Come here, honey. Mm. God, I missed you. Sorry, guys, I heard. All right? Something I wasn't supposed to, obviously, but I heard. Uh, right. listen, I think that you two have more important things to talk about and to do, so I bid you adieu. Uh oh, no, 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 Hank. You're not going until you tell me. There is nothing to tell. So, Bo, don't uh, forget about that little matter we discussed, all right? Mm. Bye, y'all. Okay, it's gone. Now, you can tell me all about that little matter that he didn't want to let me in no, on. No, no, stop, stop, okay? Because right now, I don't want to talk about any little matters. I don't want to talk about any uh, gray areas. I don't want to talk about any backlogs or anything else except you. Mm. Are you trying to find out where I was last night? No, I don't care where you were last night. Oh. I don't. All I know is that last night I had to sleep in bed by myself. I hated it. Unless you enjoyed getting a good night's sleep without me. Are you kidding? I tossed and turned all night. There was no one next to me snoring. I couldn't sleep. I don't snore. Yes, you do. I mean, that snore, I missed it so terribly. Must be like you talking in your sleep, huh? I don't talk in my sleep. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah sometime in German. I don't even speak German. I know. That's what makes it all so amazing. <laughs> Mm. Wait a minute. Are you just trying to get my mind off of what you and Hank were playing? No, no, look, Hank is gone, uh, okay? I'm off duty. Court doesn't resume until tomorrow. So, come on, Counselor. Let's just let's make up for last night. Huh? Okay? Is that a deal, Counselor? Hmm? Deal, Commissioner. You don't know how much I want to say it. I know, all you gotta do is say it. Say, Luna, I'm coming home with you right now. No questions asked. There is a question. And it needs to be answered. Well, honey, I will, we'll talk about everything at home, but let's go upstairs and let's pack you back. Luna! All right. I feel set your mind at ease. I, I can take anything except for leaving here without you. So you just, you just ask away. Do you still think I have a gambling problem? It's a simple question, Luna. Do you still think I have a gambling problem? I'm not going to lie to you. I think you do have a gambling problem. But I want you to... I want you to listen to me and believe me when I tell you that I am not angry at you. I do not blame you about it. I, if this is your problem, this is my problem. I cannot fix this for you. I cannot make you fix it for yourself, but I am here and I love you and I will do anything to help you. If you trusted me, you would believe me when I say I know myself. I know Max Holden better than, than you do. Honey, I'm not saying Gambling that you is don't. not the problem. The problem's not mine. It's yours. It's your lack of faith in me. I, honey, I've got so much faith in you. That is why I'm here. You're here because you're scared. And you got every reason to be, because as long as you don't believe in me, I've got no reason to come home. You don't mean that. So now you know what I mean, and I don't. Please, I can't. I can take anything but coldness. Isn't there anything I can do?
Yes, ma'am. These guys and gals are as open to suggesting as you say they are. I'll have Ace's diamond mine in my back pocket in no time. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, hon. I didn't hurt you. <gasps> no, I love a man with enthusiasm. Now, you know that this is a very confidential list, which I am more than willing to share if I know that we're partners. Share and share alike. I gotta say, I'm tempted. Hmm. Well, how tempted are you, Buck? Do we have a deal? Don't we? It's not gonna work, you know. Uh, 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 uh. It's been, not gonna work. I've been eating raw oysters all day. Uh, I mean, you're trying to get at my resistance. Is that what I'm doing? Uh -huh. oh. no, you're not gonna find out where I was last night. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't? No. No. This relationship is built on trust, on confidence, and on animal passion. Mm. I agree. Mm. You're not the least bit interested about where I might have been and why? Hmm? Nope. No? You're no. just a little bit jealous? Just a little bit jealous? Never. No? Nope. Mm -mm. But I could have been anywhere with anyone. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on, Bob Buchanan. If the situations were reversed, I'd be dying to know where you were and who you were with and why. <laughs> I'm just, be, I'd insist on knowing. Look. Mm -hmm. I want to make love to you right now. I don't want to interrogate you. Is there something wrong with that? Hmm? No. Well, okay, then. Okay. <laughs> but I wish you were just a little more interested. You know, oh, if little... this is an interest, I don't know what is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, just my comings and my goings and all my secrets. I am interested. Mm -hmm. I'm dying to know what's under all these clothes. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm talking about. Don't you care? Of course I care. You do? I, yes, I do. Okay. They asked me where I was last night. Oh, Nora. Come on, ask me. Okay. Okay. So where were you last night? <laughs> You're good. No, no. You are really good. You had the whole thing to us. I was this close to telling you where I was last night. Nora. Oh, Hank would be so you... proud of you, but Commissioner, you know what? Your plan didn't work. I am not about to divulge any secret information that's going to hurt my case and help yours. You know, <laughs> Hank was right about you. If you were in my place, I'll bet you would try to trick me, wouldn't you? You were the one that was tricking me. No, no, no. I wasn't trying to trick you. See, not everybody thinks the way you think. Some people want to make love just because they want to make love. What, you think I don't? I don't know what to think right now. The only thing I know is that we seem to have a little bit of a problem right here, and it seems to be getting worse by the minute. You used to have to drag a shampoo or home to clean up. Alex, girl, go wrong. You'll do it. You'll help me take Ace's diamond mine. With the tips you gave me and the people on that list, I'll have Ace's Canadian carbon ink in my back pocket before you can say Saskatchewan. Uh, the list, please. I think we should sign something. Buck Miller's word is his bond. Unless, of course, you don't trust me. Thanks, partner. You won't regret it. By the by, how much time do we got before Olise is back in town? From what I understand, seven days. Then I better get a move on, because time is money. So sorry you have to leave so soon. You only had the appetizer. You didn't have time for the main course. Some other time. You know, I want to thank you for all the trouble you've gone through. I, I sure do appreciate it. You know, now... Not one of my ten wives ever liked the kind of food I favor. See you later. With ten wives, I guess you don't uh, believe in long engagements, do you? Ever since I lost Rose Smith, I see something pretty. I put a bid down on it. You know, it took me, it took me twelve whole days to get wife number three to the altar. Now 
Could you imagine that? I hate a woman that plays hard to get. Thanks again, honey. Oh, can I take these home? Please. We'll be seeing you. Tomorrow, I hope. I have a recipe I'd love to try out on a man who would appreciate it. You're not okay. Wait. Bye, Bye now. Oof. Nice start, Alex. You've got seven days to get this guy to propose. If he doesn't kill you first. <laughs> There's no blame for you to take, honestly. I mean, the search for my father's killer and my problems with Clint and with Jesse. You are not the problem there. If anything, you're the one person who has held me together through all of this. Quite frankly, I don't know what I would have done without you these past few months. Well, I would have made it easier on your daughter if I had just slipped away or passed away. Oh, stop that! It's... Don't say that. You think it would have made it better for Jessica if her mother had been totally miserable without her best friend? Uh, the man that she loves. How do you explain that to a child? Uh, how do you make Jessica see there was some good for each other? I don't know. I wish I did know. I guess I keep hoping that she'll just see it for herself every day here in this house and then maybe she will realize how incredibly patient you have been with me and with my whole family my darling my life was over until i met you your love gave me hope you have given me life oh i won't say that i love waiting patience has never been my strong suit but i will do whatever it takes to be together it'll happen I know it will. All we have to do is keep loving each other and your children will see that you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. And vice versa. You want to hear something really sick? Okay, true confession time. When we're in the middle of our foreplay just now, part of me would really have liked to know where you were last night. I was kissing you with my left brain. My right brain was dying to get the goods on Dorian. Well, your left brain was doing a very good job. Yeah, so I'm a louse, right? Oh, you're not a louse. Oh, you're not a louse. Hank was here. He obviously was twisting your arm. No, look, I, I am not blaming Hank. Because I would really like to win this case, too. I'd give anything to know where you were last. No, no, no. i take that back. Not anything, because you mean a hell of a lot more to me than winning some, uh, some conviction. I bet you say that to all the girls. I mean it. I mean it. Do I mean more to you than winning an acquittal? Of course you do. Bo. Of course you do. We have to be realistic here. You know, sometimes we're going to bring our work home with us, and sometimes it's going to come between us. Yeah, so what are we going to do about that, hmm? Well, maybe we should just use the left side of our brains, hmm? Better yet, let's just forget our brains. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> How do I know you're not trying to get information out of me right now? It's not information I'm trying to get out of you. Let's put it this way. If I can't get you to stop thinking about Dorian's case and raise you to a higher consciousness in 20 seconds, I'll sort your socks for a month. You're on. Huh? Without knowing if you're all right, how did things go with Luna? I'd rather not talk about it. Look, I couldn't help but overhearing earlier. She seemed so upset, and Max, I, I know how much you must be hurting right now. Look, I would, um, I'd really like to be alone right now, if you don't mind. I thought maybe it might help to, it, to talk about it. Well, it won't. So 
So please, please go. Okay. Blair, but um, the cash I still owe you. As soon as I put it together, I'll. Hey, Max, you're good for it. I know that. Just take care of yourself. tomorrow morning we have the whole night together oh we're gonna have every night for the rest of our lives i shall hold that thought until i hold you again it won't be mm. you want to know a secret mm. i want to know all your secrets of course <laughs> not all of them just this one mm. I'm secretly very relieved that I'm not going to be in court tomorrow to hear Ethel Crawford's testimony. I don't know that I could take it to hear all the details of the night that my father was murdered. Well, don't think about it anymore. I shall cover the trial for you. I will be your eyes and ears. Do not think about it again. Thanks for your call, Janice, but don't you worry, honey. One heart cries out to another, and it seems like nobody's listening, but you have to believe different. You have to believe, period. <laughs> now, this next song is gonna go out to all the believers out there, and uh, if old Luna can make a special request of her own, um, here's hoping a certain person, a certain fellow I know and love is listening tonight. With. And I believe in the Max Holden that I married. Luna, I'm just one person. I'm not two different people. Sometimes you are. It seems like that. It just made me think that I fell in love with you all over again. With Max the good or Max the bad? With Max? <laughs> <laughs> 